Cara is the Council for At-Risk Academics. You might wonder why there should be a Council for At-Risk Academics. Let me just explain briefly why this is the case. Cara was founded in the 1930s by William Beveridge and by Albert Einstein. That was a time of persecution of the most horrendous model in Germany. The Germans and the Nazis in Germany were driving out not only the Jewish population, but in particular the academic Jewish population, because academics across the world have that remarkable facility which we call a critical faculty. It's that ability to be bloody-minded, that ability to put one's head above the parapet, and an ability to challenge conventional dogma uh, and conventional ideology, and that is a very dangerous position to be in. So in the 1930s, Kara brought out of Nazi Germany many hundreds of outstanding Jewish intellectuals who started to form the backbone of much of the academic activity in this country after the war. And for that reason, we have enormous gratitude to the history of Kara. We would have thought that in the 21st century, a Kara was unnecessary. But I can tell you that over the recent years, our workload has grown and grown and grown. Well, where, where is CARA of greatest importance? It's in those countries where the academic community is most at risk. It's in Zimbabwe, it's in Libya, uh, it's in Turkey, and it's in Syria. So how, how do we support CARA? We do it in two ways. First of all, we have 80 universities, many of them represented here tonight, for whom we're immensely grateful. You provide fellowships, you provide accommodation for currently 280 fellows who have been brought out of danger zones by CARA. They have 300 family members accompanying them. That is the current success of CARA. We're grateful to you and the 117 institutions who are extending further facilities. But we also support the work of CARA by having the administrative team, who are the ones who select the fellows, who are on top of the intelligence of what is happening in these countries. And I can tell you the demand hugely outstrips supply. We have only five full-time members of staff doing this work. They have a huge waiting list. What do they concentrate on? They concentrate on academics most at risk of death those who are at risk of torture, imprisonment, and detention are down, further down the list. We want to be able to extend the work of CARA and to bring more fellows out of the most dangerous conditions in which they exist, but also not necessarily to settle here permanently. One of the great activities of CARA now is to find those nations where civil unrest and strife start to settle down and scholars can return there and reignite the intellectual activities of those countries. So we're immensely grateful to all the support that we've had from universities as institutions. But tonight, my special plea is for us as academics, as individuals, to picture what we can do to support this outstanding charity in the work that it does. There are two ways of doing it. One is the uh, way in which we are launching a campaign to support those five full-time equivalents and to grow their numbers, which is the 10 times 20. If we could persuade 10% of the 400,000 members of staff of universities in this country to donate just 20 pounds a year, just 20 pounds a year, we would have sufficient to really kick-start a further wave of expansion of this critically vital work. I'm going to, on that note, invite you to listen to some words from one of our patrons, John Snow. Please, John Snow. As a journalist traveling around the world, I see academics often regarded as troublemakers and too often jailed, tortured, or killed because of their learning. But it is this very learning that needs to be nurtured so that these scholars can be part of the rebuilding process when the fighting stops. It's not overstating things to say that Cara provides a lifeline to academics in peril. I have no hesitation in supporting them in any way I can. CARA, the Council for At-Risk Academics, has been rescuing academics and their families from war zones for 85 years. For the first time in their history, CARA have just announced the launch of their campaign to ask university staff to help their peers in peril. All around the world, academics face persecution, imprisonment, violence 
and even death. Kara brings hundreds to safety every year, but many more are still in danger and need help urgently to get away. Some 400,000 people work in higher education in the United Kingdom and more in the UK's learned societies. If just 10% of them were able to give 20 pounds each to Cara every year, five pounds a quarter, their finances would be transformed. With more money, extra staff could clear the backlog and deal quickly with the many new inquiries received each week. When Cara was founded by academics and scientists in the UK to rescue their colleagues from Nazi Germany, it was the generosity of individuals that launched the process, which in six years saved some 2,000 people. You can help by simply logging onto the website cara.ngo and clicking on the 10 by 20 button. Please do it now.